another reason why you're avoiding doing things that you know you should be doing. It's called reward deprivation. And this is essentially the idea that we're not linking a clear reward to the task that we should be doing, which will lead to avoidance. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that in order to have sufficient motivation in our brain, we need to have a somewhat clear reward that we're working towards. And oftentimes in life, it's not that clear. Like we're not in school anymore. No one's gonna give us an A like right there on our paper if we do a good job. And so oftentimes it can be creating these rewards for yourself or maybe creating some type of mechanism that allows you to have some type of sense of satisfaction for this reward. Um, maybe even spending 10 minutes writing out, like what will I actually get from this? How will I feel good about this? What, how does this allow me to make progress on future goals, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, and this work sounds kind of tedious and annoying, but it is work that you will need to do if you want to get yourself to do the things that you know you should be doing. And this is especially important if you're in a leadership position. Reward ambiguity is, or reward deprivation is something that will result in your team's lack of motivation. So if you have um, unclear rewards of why they should be doing things, what will happen if they, what positive outcome will happen if they do this? Um, and if you don't have that set up, your team will not have the motivation that they need to complete the tasks that you want them to complete.